that's right. I forgot about that. Right? <laughs> Hey, listen, I want to thank you again for uh, making me the spearhead of this report. I mean, I couldn't have done it without you, Paul. Uh-huh. That's right. <laughs> hey! You know, it's like I always say about business. Business is like a bitch. You know, sometimes you got to be smooth and debonair. Other times, you just got to grab that bitch by the back of the neck and uh, show her who's boss. You know what I'm saying? And that's all. <laughs> hey, uh, listen, I, uh, I got to make my flight tomorrow, but... Uh, Oh, no, 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 no problem. Yeah. Hey, I make miracles happen. I make it right. <laughs> okay, Top Gun. Yeah, I'll see you at the merger. Right. Okay. Bye-bye. Are you just gonna stare at me all day? Or you got something to say? You notice? I'm very observant. Hmm. So I see. Hmm. I'm Dave Barrett. No, no, no. Oh. I didn't ask your name. Oh. No, no. <laughs> Feisty. I like that in a woman. So I gotta know. What's a woman as beautiful as you doing just drinking all alone? <sighs> Let's cut to the chase. <laughs> okay. Okay, you didn't walk all the way over here just to talk me to death. Hell no. I've had a shitty day. So why don't you take me back to your room and help me make it end on a happy note? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so it's like that, huh? Yeah, it's like that. I'm a direct kind of girl. Wow. You know, it's a yes or no question. Ah. Just give me a direct answer. I mean, if it's no, I'd like to get back to my drink by myself, if you don't mind. So what's it gonna be? You know, I, I gotta know, I, are you a cop? Because legally, you have to tell me. Oh, cop. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I can be whatever you want me to be. Pay for my drink and meet me outside. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Not bad. Must be my lucky day. Keep the change. That's goddamn right. Yes. I can tell that about you. Right, I can right. tell. Give me your hands. What? Just give me your hands. What is this? Oh, just go oh, with it. It's oh fun. my god. You're gonna love it. I've done some crazy things in my life, but not this. Wow. Go. I'm gonna <laughs> give you the night of your life. <laughs> promises, promises. Oh yes. Okay. Oh my god. Listen, I only have one rule. Yeah, you what's know, that? You must stay completely still. Oh, you got it. You got it. Anything you, warning, you want. I'll give you a warning. I'm Promise. gonna be your fantasy. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. Yes, I want it. I need it. Give it to me. <laughs> right. Two, yes. Three. Yes. Three. <laughs> what the fuck? You like to beat up girls? <laughs> what? what How'd that feel? I feel good. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You think you can kick the shit out of one of my girls and get away with it? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> oh, Jesus, wait. Wait. Damn it. You don't understand. It was an accident. Please, please take me to the hospital. Yes, actually. Yeah, you stupid bitch! Hmm. Accidents? <laughs> Do <you have> <laughs> Shut up! Pig! And that's how I do business, <laughs> bitch.
have cancer. You don't know that. You only had the biopsy done, what, last week? The test results aren't even in yet. You know, you could find out. What? You're a doctor! You know, instead of having me sit here, wait for the results to come, you could call one of your friends at the lab. You could call someone there and, 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 and have them rush the results. Mia, don't do this to yourself. Don't you tell me what to do! You don't know what this feels like. I'm the one that's going through this, not you. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know how I feel. What you're going through is common, Mia. God, don't you dare talk to me like I'm one of your damn patients! You're right. I'm sorry. I try to be a good woman. I try to be a good woman. I try to live a good life. I, I just can't win. I just can't win. It seems like every time I turn around, there's something there trying to pull me under. And this, this is finally it. This is it. No! Don't touch me. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Welcome back. As many of you know, after a lengthy investigation, authorities in Atlanta have decided not to pursue formal charges against former Anacostia Trojan star Andre Davis, citing that the drowning of his son, Key Vaughn Sinclair, was an accident. We're now joined via satellite with Andre Davis and his wife, Nicole. Good morning, Andre, and welcome to the program. Hello, and first off, thank you for allowing me to come on to your program this morning. As you may know, this has been a very hard and trying time for myself and my wife. I am relieved that the authorities here in Atlanta have come to the correct decision. This was a very unfortunate and tragic accident. A child is a very special gift, and the loss of my son Kevon will forever stay with me to the end of my days. The only thing that I can hope for now is that the American people can find forgiveness in their hearts as I pray for forgiveness for myself. Thank you. Andre, what is your relationship to Mrs. Sinclair? What were you doing in Atlanta at the time of your son's death? Was this an affair? Is she seeking civil damages? The authority has already determined this is an accident, a very unfortunate accident, and that is all we're discussing today. Andre, the authorities have ruled your son's death an accident, but surely this whole secret child thing with an affair, and it has to put some type of strain on your marriage. Could you please talk about that? Look, we're not here to discuss A court of law has found my husband innocent, and I stand by him. I will continue to do so. Anything else is a private matter between he and I. Thank you. No more questions. I'd like to thank everyone for their time today. <laughs> I'm always glad that's over. <laughs> that is far from over. Nicole looked pissed. Yeah, but the man just avoided some serious jail time. She should be supporting him. Uh, that man cheated on her with some side chick. So I doubt if she's going to let that slide. Well, in any event, I guess things can start getting back to normal around here. As far as what? As far as you telling your friends that we're getting married or maybe even wearing the ring that I gave you? Julian. What's the big deal, Sean? You do still want to marry me, right? Of course I do. So what's the big deal? Why not just tell your friends? Because. You're going to have to do a lot better than because. Okay. How about my best friend is in jail awaiting to go on trial? Nicole and Andre got their mess going on. Mia's been acting crazy lately. And aside from that, the two psychos that kidnapped me and Selena and killed half of the damn neighborhood, they're still on the loose. So I just think talking about it right now would be a little insensitive. Look, I know you're concerned about what's going on, you know, with your friends and all that. 
But maybe you should stop worrying about what's going on in their home so much and start worrying about what's going on in your own home, Sean. What is that supposed to mean? You know what? Fine. We'll do it your way. Fine. Julian, all I'm saying... I said fine, Sean. Damn, just let it go. Look, I'm going to be late for work. I I'll talk to you later. Babe, they gotta know I'm innocent. I'm a real good person. Yes, you know. The fuck you looking at? All up in here. I should have known it was you. I know. I just had to come see how you're doing. Scott, you've been here every day. Nothing's changed. I'm still in jail, and I'm okay. Selena. <laughs> so, Scott, don't please. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what? I would have expected that from Sean and Mia. From you, I expect it better. I know. <laughs> I just miss you. I know. I miss you too. I miss everyone. But I have to. Have you talked to your mother yet? No. She hasn't responded to any of my letters. Selena, you know, if you want me to talk to her, I will. I mean, she needs to be here. She needs to know what happened. No, Scott. That is something that I need to do on my own. But... I've been dealing with this for too long. And this is my fight. And as much as I love you trying to fight that fight for me, I have to do this by myself. But if we just explain it to the prosecutor, you will not have to be in here. Scott, what happened to me had nothing to do with how I hit Nancy. I almost killed her because I had a problem that I didn't deal with. That was my fault. No, it wasn't, Scott. It was nobody's fault. I did this to me. I am here because of my actions, no one else's. This is some bullshit. I mean, you do not have to be in here. You don't. Scott, please listen to me. I know how much this hurts you. And you don't know how badly I want to get up and walk out of here with you. <laughs> but I can't. And I need you to accept that. Because right now, you are the only thing that's keeping me together. <laughs> no, I, got, I gotta go. <laughs> so, I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. I love you too. What are we doing around here? Can't none of these people afford my damn services? Look, if they got the cash, we got the ass. <sighs> Look, is everything arranged for the bankers' convention next week? Oh yeah, we locked and loaded. We got our best girls on it, and it looks like it's going to be a sixty to eighty thousand dollar weekend. Okay, good. Make sure there are no mistakes. We have to make it clear that we are still the best game in town. I mean, we can't be having no mix-ups and turnarounds and all of this and that. You got to be on hey, it. Hey, why does this bitch keep calling me? Give me your phone. Shit. Is there something you need, Cherry? About time you answer the phone. I 
needed to speak with you two weeks ago. We can't always get what we want now, can we? We're running out of money. <laughs> and that's my problem, how? You said you would help us. Bitch, our business is done. So I suggest you take your stupid country ass back to Atlanta like you were supposed to. Don't call me again. You understand? Hello? Hello? She put me on hold. Man, she ain't put you on hold, man. That bitch hung up on you. Really? She ain't say bye. Baby, listen to me. If that bitch don't give us what we want, then we're just gonna have to take it. You feel me? I see these two gonna be a problem, huh? <laughs> Change our numbers today, Cliff. Make sure you send a message to our clients with the new ones. What are we gonna do about that dumbass nigga Q and that chunky ass whore Cherry? I think it's about time someone made an anonymous phone call to the good people down in Atlanta about a certain dead pimp, mm -hmm. don't you? Mm-hmm, I totally agree with that. I'm on it, don't even worry. <laughs> Here today mm -hmm. to speak on the power mm -hmm. and the mercy Preach. of mercy. God. Praise him! Yes! Yes, praise him! Thank you, Jesus. Jesus uh -huh. is a deliverer. Yes. Yes. He yes. has delivered me okay. from a life of drugs, Preach. gambling, mm -hmm. liquor, and hardcore porn. Yeah. And just like he delivered me, yes. he can deliver you. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Do you need to be delivered? Yes. yes. Do you yes. need to be yes. delivered? Deliver them the word of oh, Jesus. Yes. Amen. Just a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. I was out doing God's work. Mm -hmm. Amen. Going door to door, uh -huh. street to street, uh -huh. spreading his message. Uh -huh. yes. That's what he want. Yes. And suddenly, I came upon this one house. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This house was ominous. Uh -huh. It was dark. Ooh. And I heard screaming. Oh, I walked up to the front door yes. and the door was open. Okay. I said, Jesus, should I go in? Oh, oh. Did you hear me? Oh, I said, man. God, should I go in? Go in, go in and walk with God. Yes. I said, go in and walk yes. with God. Yes. So I walked in the front door uh -huh. and God said, go upstairs. Mm -hmm. So I went upstairs mm -hmm. and I opened the door. And I stopped. Mm -hmm. And what I saw, mm -hmm. what laying there on the floor, mm -hmm. was one of God's beautiful creations. Jesus. Just lying there, lifeless. Jesus. As I kneeled down, I asked God to help me. Uh -huh. And just then, mm -hmm. God gave me breath to blow Hallelujah. and anointed my hands yeah. with life. And that day, that day, God gave life to someone, and she is here today. Sister, stand up and share your testimony. My name is Nancy Cook, and much like Brother Ray, I'm sorry. Take your time, sister. Much like Brother Ray. Mm -hmm. God has delivered me. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. God has delivered me from a life of horn and backstabbing. Hallelujah. He does not discriminate. And gave me another chance at life. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Glory, glory. And I'm here to testify. Testify. Mm. Speak. Come on, sister. Sister Nancy. I am so glad you came to share your story. Praise Jesus, Brother Ray. I'm just glad I have a story to tell. 
Thanks to you, you truly do God's work. Oh, no, no, no. I am just a messenger of God's work. <laughs> well, it's, it's great work that you do. <clears throat> you saved my life. And you showed me that God is a forgiving God. I, I, I don't know how I'm going to repay you. Well, sister, you can do the same for someone else that I've done for you. Like what? What do you mean? Well, I'm sure there's someone in your life that needs your forgiveness and your mercy. Just like I've done for you. Think about it. It's <coughs> absolutely right. And I know just who it is. Miss Donna. Miss Donna Scott. She's not home. Well, when will she be back? It could be later. It could be later than that. Who's to say? I'll be back. How's my baby girl doing? You be sure to tell her that her daddy loves her. And that I have something for her when she gets out. <laughs> Let her know I have something for her. Something real nice. What is wrong with you, boy? You want that shit? Stay the fuck away from my wife, you hear me? What are you talking about? That's my daughter. I love her. I know what you did, you sick fuck. And you're not going to get away with it. I'll see to it. Fuck off me. That's because I didn't have anything to say. I mean, your, your lawyer didn't give me a script for that now, did he? It's just you and I here now. And obviously, that still isn't enough. Nicole. Nicole, what? What, Andre? What? What wasn't I giving you that you had to go take your black ass down there and screw some stripper? Baby, do we need to talk about this right now? I mean, my son just died. Don't you dare throw that child in my face. Look, baby, please, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm sorry, Nicole, can't, can't you just bleed it? I'm sorry. Because you're not sorry, Andre. You're not sorry. You're a fucking hypocrite. That's what you are. And I think the whole time, the whole time, you were giving me shit about Chauncey and you were the one doing dirt. Oh, God. You can stand there with your hollow ass tears talking about you're sorry. You love me. You didn't mean to do it. You won't hurt me again. And you know what? You can do whatever you think you need to do to make yourself feel better, but I don't believe you. You know why? Why? Because you're a liar, Andre. Nicole. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? From a distance, we got a test recently. I've been feeling that way. Selena? They let me in. But what? Like your being stopped by someone you know. But who, who could it be? Again, I can't say. Maybe I'm paranoid about the situation. Maybe I've lost my mind. Is it my imagination? 
But whoever it is, just keep on watching. Girl, I'm fighting. Babe, look, sorry about earlier, you know, I just, there's just so much going on at work and I'm sorry, I apologize, you forgive me? You did yell at me, so you might have to do a little bit better than that. Come here. How's that? Mm, that was okay, but I can do better. Oh, can you now? Yeah. What's that? That is our formal wedding announcement that will run in tomorrow's paper. Are you serious? Yes, you were right. It's about time we start concentrating on our future. And there's not anyone or anything that's going to get in the way of that. So we're getting married. We're getting married. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. It's impossible. No. What's that? Who is that? Well, whoever it is is gonna have to get the hell away from here. Well, look, hurry back. I got a surprise for you. I've seen that surprise, sir. <laughs> hey, Sean. 